Hello everyone, this is Kfir from DSM and today I'd like to introduce you to two features in our system. First one is managing multiple accounts over here and I'll show you how to add new accounts and what are your options. And second is virtual assistance management which is uh, adding more users with uh, limited access to your account. You can find all those features under the account settings here, you go to your account and account settings and under the other tab. It, we might change the name of the other tab where we just discussed it uh, lately, so you might see another name like account or something that is more relevant, but at the moment it's under other tab. So let's begin one by one. Linking accounts or adding more accounts to your uh, DSM account. You have two options of how to do that. First, you can open a completely new account at dsm.com. You just sign up again with another account and you connect your other eBay store or you can even connect the same eBay store. And when you connect the same eBay store, um, you can, for example, I don't know, some people like to manage some of their prime items and non-prime prime items on two different DSM accounts so you can link them. Uh, I have to say that this option is uh, only available if you have Magnum account. So you have to have a Magnum or above um, in order to use it. So how to do it? You have two options, as I said. One, you create another account and then you simply put in the email and the password. And when you put the email and the password, you click link account and it will link the two accounts as I, have, as I got here and you can move between the accounts. Now, no matter on what page you are, let's say dashboard or rapid lister or price monitor, if you move to the other account, it will simply move to the same page on the other account. So if you have two eBay stores and you want to um, go between the, the price monitors uh, of those stores, you simply go to the price monitor page and, and um, move to whatever user you want and it will open the price monitor page. Uh, another way to add a new account is to click on this button. It's quite new actually. It says create new account. You enter the, the details of the account. It's actually the same as registering with a new account except of uh, the fact that it will also take you through all the process of, uh, of connecting the account to eBay and doing everything that you already know how to do from uh, the day you open the new account. Uh, and, but it will automatically link between them. So it will save you time on doing that. And then again, you can move between them, as I explained before. Uh, one of the most important features regarding multiple accounts management is that you can uh, enable or disable the multi-account item duplication protection. When would you use that? For example, if you manage uh, accounts of a few people, uh, different people, different entities, then it doesn't matter if you have duplications between the accounts, so you can disable it. But if it's your uh, stores, uh, and it's all under your account and one single entity, it will uh, be against eBay's policies to, uh, to create duplications between the accounts and they will actually link between the accounts and remove duplications and it can, uh, it can put restrictions in your account at some, at some point. So make sure you enable the multi-account uh, item duplication protection and then we will not let you list items that already exist in other accounts. Um, what else? Next is the virtual assistant management. Today is uh, March uh, 8th, uh, the International Women's Day, by the way. And um, so uh, we, we just launched it yesterday uh, on March 7th, 2017. So maybe you watch this video in the future. But anyway, the idea of the virtual assistant is the more you sell as you grow, your business grows, you need more manpower but you want to give limited access to, to the account. So over here, you can see that I created video uh, virtual assistant test um, at dsmtool.com. This is an actual account that you can log into. And over here, I can assign different privileges. That's the name, it's called video test. And I can assign different vi privileges to this account. I'll show you how to do it when I'll add a new user. So I can, uh, I can have already made users, I can delete them or edit their privileges and I can add new user, which also show the privileges, Privileges. so let me show you that. When I add a new user, I add uh, the name, his email, so he could uh, access DSM, I assign some password and then here is the most important part, I have account privileges, so I can show or disable the showing of the dashboard. Um, same with the rapid lister and templates. 
I can show or disable showing the price monitor. I can uh, dis enable or disable the sales and profits page and check these two options, which are the, the more advanced options. I can allow or uh, enable or disable the multiple items edit uh, editing in the price monitor page when you can click and edit all the items. That's very relevant, for example, if you have a, a worker that you give him access to the price monitor to, to do something, but you don't want him, for example, to delete all your items. So that's quite important. You could delete one by one, but you know, that's not as big damage as if you would delete all your items. And same with profits. If you don't want to show your profits, it will eliminate them from the price monitor and from the sales and profits page. These are two columns that says profits. So you can... Um, uh, choose what access do you want to give. For example, only rapid lister if your uh, assistant only works uh, with rapid listing. Um, so these are the two. Uh, these are the two features. We hope you enjoy them. We hope you sell more. Thank you for coming here and listening to me, and good luck.